Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. In this short video, we are going to learn about Microsoft Azure top 10 important services that every developer should know. So let's get started. The first service is Virtual Machine. So what is Virtual Machine? Virtual Machine on cloud is a virtualization that represents the physical server. Now in cloud, if you want to create your own VMs okay, of different operating systems like Windows, Linux and MS OS, you can do this with just simple clicks and within few providing few information. Now there are various types of VMs available based on your requirements. So there is on demand, spot, reserved, dedicated instance and etc. You can set up your own VM on Azure cloud by clicking few, uh, by just few clicks and providing few minimum information. Just think about it that if you want to set up your own server on cloud, then Amazon VM is a choice. Now. Practically, I have shown you how to create a VM on Azure Cloud in my uh, video which is available in my Azure playlist that I'll show it to you in a moment. So here you can see the third video how to set up VM in Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform. I recommend anybody or anyone who wants to understand practically how to set up a VM in Cloud then I recommend that you go ahead and watch this video. Let's move on to the next service. The next service is Azure Storage. Now, Azure Storage is a service for storage solution on cloud. It provides high scalability, durable, highly available and redundant storage of data. That means you can store your data in multiple regions. So you don't have a loss of data. It provides storage for structured as well as unstructured storage types. So structured is defined by the standard rows and column which is typically available in the RDBMS database. And unstructured data means logs, images, videos, and any kind of media. So Azure provides four types of storage. One is a file, blog, queue, and table. In my video channel, in my channel, I have provided you a video where I have shown you practical guide and set up set. I have also set up the storage types in Azure. Learn Microsoft Azure Storage step by step guide. Here I have created all the four types of storage that I mentioned, I've created all those types and I've shown you practically how to upload and download images from the storage. Recommend all to go and watch this video. Let's move to the third service that is Azure Web Service. Now what is Azure Web Service? Azure Web Service is a platform or service that provide, enables publishing of websites running on multiple frameworks and written in different programming languages like ASP.NET, Java, Ruby and Node. It is similar to IIS on your Windows uh, server where you where you use it and upload it, upload your websites for uh, so that it is accessible globally. But Azure Services provides capability for not only .NET but other programming language as well. So it Azure Web Service also provides other services like Azure Website, Mobile Services and Azure BizTalk Services. Some of the key features of Azure Web Service are multi-language and framework, easy deployment, security and compliance, Visual Studio integration, API and mobile features, serverless code and managed production environment. Now in my video Digital Tech Join channel, I have provided a practical guide on how to upload ASP.NET application using Microsoft Azure Web Service. Let me show that to you in a moment. So guys, here is a video how to deploy ASP.NET on Microsoft Azure Cloud step-by-step -step tutorial. In this video, I am using web service. I am enabling creating a web service. I am configuring the web service, creating an application in ASP.NET MVC and then deploying that on Azure Web Service service. So it's a very good tutorial that we should give you clarity on practically how to utilize Amazon Azure Web Service. Moving on to the fourth service is called Azure SQL. Now what is Azure SQL? It is a fully managed platform as service that provides managed cloud database as a part of Azure services. The service handles database management functions like upgrading, patching, backups and monitoring without user involvement. Azure SQL is built on the familiar SQL Server engine, so you can migrate application with ease and continue to use the tools, languages, resources you are familiar with. Now, in my Digital Tech Join channel, I have provided a video that uses web service as well as Azure SQL Server database and 
I have shown you how to deploy that application on Azure. So that will cover both your web service also and also your Azure SQL Server database. Recommend to go and watch. Moving on to the fifth service is Azure API Gateway Management. Before I get into Azure API, first let us understand what is an API Gateway. An API Gateway is an entry point for all the API calls that represents client requests to target application and services. It is typically performs request processing based on defined policies including authentication, authorization, access control, rate limits, SSL, TLS, offloading, routing and load balancing. Imagine sites like Amazon. Just imagine how many APIs they must be managing. Now in order to manage this API, we need API gateway that will perform all this character that I, I have mentioned, the features that I mentioned. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to for anybody to manage hundreds and thousands of APIs and lose track of what the particular API does. So what is Azure API? In short form, Azure API Management. It allows you to publish, secure and transfer, maintain and monitor multiple APIs. As I mentioned, first I explained what is API Gateway and now Azure API does the same thing. It is also an API Gateway that enables and manages all your APIs in one location so that you have central access and control over it. API allows organization to use their existing backend service to create complete API program by creating consistent and modern API gateways. Now, I will just show you one video that I have there in my channel, which will, which will help you guys to understand what, how microservices work and what is API Gateway. Guys, in my video, in my channel, Digital Tech Join, there is a video called Learn API Gateway and Microservices. In this video, I have created a web API in ASP.NET application and I have created, I have downloaded Tyke Gateway, it's a it's a gateway that is available and it's, it's well known gateway and I have shown you first I have explained the concept of microservices then I have explained the concept in detail of API Gateway finally in, pra in practical section I have shown you how to create a web API and then host it in a type gateway and also how to do the configuration it's a very fantastic video for anybody who wants to understand api gateway microservices type gateway and also gets uh, and zerty for on developing api web apis using asp.net so i recommend that you go ahead and watch this video the sixth service is azure cosmos db now azure cosmos db provides provides a fully managed no sql and relations database for modern app development. Azure Cosmos DB offers single digit millisecond response time, automatic and instantly scalability along with guaranteed speed at any scale. So in short, if you have any requirement where you want real time up update to be given to the user, then Amazon, uh, then Azure Cosmos DB is an ideal choice. It provides like you can consider it handles Capacity management with cost-effective serverless and automatic scaling option that respond to application needs to match capacity with demand. That means zero latency. We can see such application like you know real-time streaming, or we can consider a stock market tracker or Uber application where customers waiting for a Uber car and we can see real-time where the car is exactly in position uh, when he's watching the app. So such real-time real-time intensive application where you need real-time upgrading to the client uh, applications or devices then Azure Cosmos DB is the right choice. Moving on to the seventh service is Azure Active Directory. So Azure Active Directory is commonly referred to as Azure AD. It's Microsoft Identity and Access Management Services on Cloud. It manages users, groups and applications along with their access and other application resources running in the cloud. This is exactly similar to our tradition on-prem Active Directory services, okay, that is um, used for managing your identity and access management. Then moving on to the 8th service Azure Functions, it is similar to AWS Lambda. So now what does Azure Function do? Azure Function is an event-driven serverless compute platform that helps you develop more efficiently using programming language of your choice. This is enables to trigger events and perform certain functions without having you to set up provisions infrastructure that is server and uh, other configuration. 
So ideal scenario for implementing in an is in an event based architect solution that uses events to trigger and communicate between decoupled services and is common in modern application built with microservices. So typically it is, let me uh, give it a further example, I mean, Azure function is like a trigger based, it's like a method, we can say it's like a method which, uh, which you don't have to provision the server and you can enable this method or call, create this method to trigger certain functions. You can enable this uh, Azure functions to pass on application, set up, set up some real-time notification, all this. So whenever you want any unique event driven or any functions to be um, triggered and action to be taken, then you should consider using Azure functions. Some of the examples are sending emails based on triggers, sending reminders and notification, uh, processing certain uh, file processing based, based on some events, cal calculating, uh, no, com computing any back backend calculations, generating reports based on certain triggers and events so these these uh, events specifically uh, between multiple uh, decoupled application uh, can uh, you know uh, be utilized very well using azure functions moving to the ninth service uh, function known as azure service bus so azure service bus is a uh, uh, fully managed enterprise message broker with message queues and publish and subscribe topics so basically service bus is used to decouple application and services from each other providing the following benefits load balancing work across competing workers safely routing and transferring data coordinating transaction work that requires high degree of reliability i just pasted some images which have taken from microsoft site one with a single queue like there's a sender, he's sending some message, it goes to the queue and the receiver receives it. And you can also have multiple subscription, that is multiple topics, where you can send a topic, a queue, depending upon the topics configured, and the receiver can receive. Now, I can tell you one example over here is that how Azure uh, service bus is utilized in enterprise application, is that whenever you go to Amazon or Flipkart and you do any order, you always do not get the confirmation instantly. So whenever you place an order to the payment, there is a process, there is a message that goes to your queue and which is read by some other uh, publishers and subscribers and they accordingly uh, read it and provide that response back and then that is how after a couple of minutes you get a confirmation that your order has been placed successfully and you will be getting the delivery by this date. So this is how the backend uh, system you know is works in a very dis uh, disconnected architect uh, providing uh, you know, a fully reliable uh, source of data sharing and update so this was one example second example which i generally know is that whenever i recharge my uh, mobile i get the confirmation after a couple of minutes once the telecom uh, providers uh, get the receive the amount and the and the package plan that is taken and they um, give me the confirmation confirmation after some time so this is how so this this ensures that your data uh, does not get failed it's not like a synchronized uh, approach so it's like more asynchronous based of approach where you are guaranteed to get the response and the failure is uh, nearly zero so azure service bus typically is used in very big enterprise application having multiple uh, integrations and multiple application that talk to each other and the last is logic apps so what are logic apps logic apps are nothing but workflow system it's like azure logic app is a cloud service uh, using logic app defines the workflow at ease for consuming a range of apis exposed as connectors these logic app connectors will perform the sequence of action defined in the workflow whenever the trigger gets fired in simple term logic app help you to build workflow routine that is sequence of event action to be taken to accomplish certain tasks now this is a diagram that i picked up from microsoft site so this is how you set up the workflow and each workflow will perform certain call some api or perform some action based on your requirement so this workflow is done with the help of azure logic apps so guys uh, thank you so much for your time this was a very short video i just wanted to ensure that uh, um, my developers know which are the co common and the most important services of azure uh, please do uh, subscribe my channel, share my channel link with your friend, family and colleague. Help us to grow our digital tech joint uh, channel, family and um, thank you so much for your time. Do, do like my videos and uh, thank you so much.